Hey. All right. As president of the National Honor Society, it is a pleasure to welcome new inductees, their parents, family, and friends. We would like to thank the administration for their support of this organization. Mr. Jones, Mr. Day, Mr. McSween, and Ms. Shaw. Additionally, we would like to thank our advisor, Ms. Brown. What is knowledge? Is it something learned from books, or is it an understanding gained by actual experience? Most people would answer that both of these definitions are correct. Not only is the comprehension of both courses like English, math, and history needed, but also first-hand information. Personal life experiences added to the familiar education of today makes each person's body of knowledge unique. It was once said that that jewel of knowledge is great riches, which is not plundered by kinsmen, each not acquired off by thieves, nor decreased by giving. Of course, each human being has the choice to pass up or observe information given to them. Unwisely, some people refuse. Try never to miss a chance to read, to listen to your grandparents' stories, or even to share an experience with a friend. You may end up passing up your power of knowledge. Membership in the Crespi chapter of the National Honor Society has been earned by the effective demonstration of the four qualities held in high esteem by the Society. Four of our officiating members will review these qualities for the candidates. Our Vice President, Taylor Rushmeyer, could not be with us tonight, but Ashley Wilde will speak in her place on the scholarship. <laughs> Scholarship is a commitment to education and knowledge. <clears throat> knowledge is learned through great experience and study. Therefore, one should not only depend on a formal education, but make a lifetime commitment to learn. It is the only way to knowledge, and knowledge is the only way to success. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past, and the light which illuminates the future. I challenge each of you tonight to make a commitment to always try to grow and expand in your knowledge of scholarship through discipline and, most importantly, dedication. Our treasurer, Jay Terrell, will now lead on leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. While demonstrating the initiative and promoting school activities and academics, a real leader strives to influence others to take the same object objective. The price of leadership is sacrifice. The willingness to lead to yield one's interest for the interests of others, a leader is thoroughly dependable in any responsibility accepted and has confidence to go forward when others hesitate. Leadership is always needed Thus, to lead is a greater challenge to each of our members and the candidates. <coughs> Courtney Jones, our recording secretary, will focus on service. put the needs of others before your own wants and desires. Service embodies the idea that the National Honor Society is founded upon. A service organization such as NHS is dedicated to leading its members to the importance of its role and how to administer and help the community. A servant-like attitude can be developed by humbling yourself and allotting your time to service activities. Gabrielle Thomas, our corresponding secretary, will speak about character. Character is the force within every individual that distinguishes them from others. It can determine the good from the bad and the weak from the strong. Through this force, we can set limitations and create endless possibilities, but one will display the character they deserve based on their decisions. Every choice we make and action we take leaves an eternal impression on our lives. 
Those choices can bring success or failure, but how we handle certain situations determines character. By demonstrating honesty, morality, and reliability, we set standards for our lives. These standards reveal our value of character. All Christie High School National Honor Society candidates will please rise and move to your left, forming a line against the wall. When your name is called, please come up to receive your certificate of membership and congratulations. Remain standing down in front in preparation to recite the Honor Society Pledge. <laughs> 